This problem is from random variables and distribution functions. See here the probability density function f of x is given as k into 3x square minus 1 when x lies between minus and 2 and 0 elsewhere. So now we have to find the value of k and also we have to find the probability when x lies between minus 1 and 0. So here what is the probability density function? The probability density function is k times of 3x square minus 1 where x lies between minus 1 and 2 and 0 elsewhere. See here, we know that the total probability, the whole probability is always equal to 1. So, in between minus infinity to plus infinity, I have to insert minus 1 and 2. See, so this will be minus infinity to this will be minus 1 f of x dx and again minus 1 to 2 f of x dx plus again 2 to infinity f of x dx is equal to 1. See here the value of the function when x lies between minus 1 and 2 is k times of. So, this value is k times of 3x square minus 1 and elsewhere f of x value is equal to 0. So, this value is equal to 0 and this value is equal to 0. And see now, this will be minus 1 to 2. k times of this is 3x square minus 1 into dx is equal to 1. So, we have to find out the value of k. So, this will be minus 1 to 2. This is 3x square minus 1 of dx is equal to 1. This is k times of 3. Integration of x square is nothing but x cube by 3. And integral 1 dx is nothing but x between the limits minus 1 and 2. Between the limits minus and 1 and 2 is equal to 1. So, if I substitute the upper limit See here the upper limit 2 cube is 8 minus see here this is 2 and see for lower limit this is minus and if I substitute minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 this is already minus 1. So for lower limit this is minus and if I substitute minus 1 so this will become plus 1. So if I cancel these two then k is equal to 6 is equal to 1. So, 6k is equal to 1 and the k value is equal to 1 by 6. This is how I got the value of k that is 1 by 6. And next we have to find the probability when x lies between minus 1 and 0. So, minus 1 and 0. See here, now we have to find out the probability when x lies between minus 1 and 0. So, this will be minus 1 to 0 f of x into dx. So, the value here will be, this will be minus 1 to 0. The f of x value, if it lies between minus 1 and 0 is k times of, this is k times of 3x square minus 1 into dx. So, k value just now I found, it is 1 by 6. The k value is nothing but 1 by 6. See here, so, this will be 1 by 6. So, if I substitute in place of k as 1 by 6, this is minus 1 to 0. This is 3x square minus 1 into dx. So, if I integrate, so this is 3. The integration of x square is x cubed by 3. And integral 1 dx is nothing but x between the limits minus 1 to 0. So, if I cancel this, see here the value will be 1 by 6 times of this is 0 minus 0 and this will be minus, see here, this is minus 1 plus and see for lower limit this is minus. If I substitute minus here, this will be plus 1. So, if I cancel, so the value here is a 0 by 6 which is equal to 0. Therefore, the probability when x lies between minus 1 and 0 is 0. So, these are the two values which we have to find. See here, the k value is nothing but 1 by 6 and this value is nothing but 0. So, this is how we have to show and this is also simple for finding the k value. We have to use this that the total probability is always equal to unity and Again, we have to substitute the f of x value and keeping uh, x common here and integrating and substituting the limits, we will be getting the value of k. And now, see here, now again we have to find out the value of x. 
the probability when value of x lies between minus 1 and 0. So, for this also k value is 1 by 6 and after integrating and substituting I got the value as 0. So, thank you so much for watching and have uh, my next video also is very ready to upload. Thank you so much. Have a look at that. Thank you.